Hey guys, welcome to Ethereal Creations. Today I'll be showing you how to make French onion soup. So I know this goes without saying, but the most important thing in French onion soup is, guess what? Onions. And my onion of choice that I chose was yellow onions. I bought these in bulk at Costco, so I get these nice, huge yellow onions and these were perfect for the french onion soup here you're going to see me peeling them and slicing them i used three for this recipe yellow onions are perfect for this dish because it has a natural sweetness and it's perfect for caram caramelization and um it's a very mild type of onion which is perfect so i'm adding all of these sliced onions into a big cast iron pot with lots of olive oil and I believe olive oil would be the best type of oil for this dish because it has a natural fruitiness from the olives and it provides a great flavor for the onions. Once we're finished with that crying session of chopping so many damn onions, we're going to move on to garlic. So we're smashing a few cloves of garlic, getting the skins off, and then chopping them as fine as you can. Some people like being very fancy when they cut um, garlic, but in this case, they're all going into a soup, so I'm just chopping them as fine as I possibly can with this knife. Now that our onions are finally all in the pot, we're going to get them on the stove, adding in a whole stick of butter. We're turning this burner on to medium-high, and we're sauteing the onions for about 10 minutes, uncovered. And I'm stirring them occasionally to make sure they don't stick at the bottom and to make sure they don't burn at the bottom also because it is on medium high. And so we're just getting those onions moving around in the butter until the onions start getting a little soft. So this is what your onion should look like after about 10 minutes. We're going to stir it around just a little bit more and we're going to reduce this down to medium heat. By this time, we're going to be adding in a teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. Mix this together again and cook for another 35 minutes. Be sure to stir occasionally. After 35 minutes, your onions should look like this. They look so beautiful and so caramelized. You see those little bits on the bottom there? When we deglaze our pot with red wine, it'll help bring up all of those little bits that we see on the bottom, and that's where all the flavor is. Your onions should look beautifully caramelized like this. At this time, you can add in your garlic that you chopped up earlier. Mix this together so it doesn't burn. Then we're going to be adding in a half a cup of red wine to deglaze the pot and to scrape off the bits that are at the bottom. Remember, this is where all the flavor is, so you want to scrape really well and get it all incorporated. Drop in two sprigs of thyme and two bay leaves. Now time for our broth. We're going to be adding in one box of beef bone broth, which is 32 ounces, and then another 32 ounce box of beef stock. Added one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and let this simmer on medium low for about 20 minutes. Now for one of the best parts of French onion soup, we're going to be creating our Gruyere cheese and mozzarella. And the best part is you could put as much or as little cheese as you like. I grated a whole block of Gruyere and a whole block of mozzarella because I love cheese. I chose two cheeses because Gruyere is nutty and sharp and mozzarella is very mild. And now our soup is finally done. It looks amazing. Take your Italian baguette slices, rub some garlic on it for a little extra flavor and get them ready to put on top of your soup. So you're going to take slices of them and put it on top of your soup. I did two because I love bread on the French onion soup. It's just like amazing so i put two each next add on your shredded gruyere cheese then add on your mozzarella you're going to boil this on high for about three to four minutes or until the cheese is golden brown and oozy and after it's been broiled your soup should look like this oh my god this is the moment i've been waiting for all the cheese and that crostini on the bottom it's soaking up all the juices and it's going to pair so well together when you take a huge bite of that oh my god my mouth is watering just looking at this this soup was absolutely delicious it is the perfect time to have it by the way because of this 
cold season that we're having and it warms you right up i hope you guys love this recipe i hope you guys enjoyed watching please like share and subscribe i love you guys thank you so much for all your support peace